let me tell you about all the healings and inner work I've done on the Twin Flame journey. So I've been on the journey since last October, so less than a year. And I knew about Twin Flames since 2014 or 15. However, unless you experience it, reading about it is complete, completely different. So I was very perplexed when I met my twin. I didn't know that they were my twin. And um, I first went and saw a palm reader in December last year who confirmed this. He didn't say the word twin, but he confirmed that this person was the person I was going to end up with. But then after that, it was in January where I spoke to a few psychics and they completely confirmed it. And I tried to um, not give them any information so that I got the authentic information. As soon as I understood that they were twin flames, I decided to start doing my inner work and not be obsessed which was quite challenging at first. So initially I went to a twin flame, who's not in union, if I'm honest with you, and I had one or two sessions with her of regression, of inner child healing, to do with abandonment and father issues, etc., etc. Thought, thought it was quite useful. Then I met someone called Gina, who I'm gonna be interviewing for my TikTok channel, and she's a quantum healer, and she helped me understand how to get to zero point and how to clear energies within. So I had Gina. And I was doing hypnosis as well that I had from the first healer. She gave me like a video, uh, an audio tape that I had to listen to a couple of times a day. So I was doing that. I was also doing journaling after that, um, writing down all the things I want in my ideal relationship and like um, gratitude and appreciation. Um, listening to Abraham Hicks, uh, which was very difficult because initially the monkey mind was going a bit insane actually, a bit, a bit crazy. Then I came in March back to the UK from an Abraham Hicks uh, cruise. So I, I'm going on three Abraham Hicks cruises this year again to help raise my vibration. So I went in March to the Caribbean and in July I went to the Greek islands. And in September next month, I'm going to Hawaii to raise my vibration. Um, after I came back from Caribbean in March, I decided to work with Twin Flame Universe. So I got myself the Twin Flame uh, uh, book, which I recommend you read. I did the free courses and classes that they have, and then I got a Twin Flame Ascension coach who I've been working with since March on a weekly basis. It's been absolutely mind blowing. And I've also got the Twin Flame Ascension School all class passes and the Life Purpose all pass classes, which cost quite a lot, to be honest. Um, so I have spent quite a lot so far on this journey, um, but it will all pay dividends because it's helped me become calm, balanced and grounded and, and, and understand who I am. So after um, having done that, then I met someone on one of my recent cruises in July who is a person who channels the Galactic Federation of Light and she heals you with light codes. I had a lot of anxiety to do with my twin flame and she helped remove that. And then she initiated me in the light codes as well. And prior to this, I am a um, practitioner, master practitioner and trainer of neurolinguistic programming, coaching, timeline therapy and hypnotherapy. And I have done years and years and years of internal work since I was very young. I've been very religious and spiritual from when I was a very small kid. And I've done years of therapy and coaching and um, you name it. I've tried all my modalities. I've been to Vipassana about 11 times, uh, silent meditation retreats, if you don't know that, Buddhist ones. Um, I've done so many different things. I've done Reiki healing, I've done energy healing, crystal healing, all sorts of healings throughout my lifetime. Um, and I have been working regularly with a psychic um, called Isla, who's absolutely amazing, who's been helping me also on this journey. And the main spiritual support team member is God, who I um, has allowed me to really gain insight into my unity consciousness. So yes, I have done a lot of work and I continue to do so. Every day I have a list of things I go through. Like I said, I do my um, hypnosis videos, my self-love affirmations, my Abraham Hicks. I do my gratitude, I do my uh, journaling, and then I do my Twin Flame Ascension School classes. I have my coach and um, I also read books about um, Twin Flames and self-love and healing and stuff like that. So I'm constantly on it and it's helped to rapidly ascend uh, myself and, and fasten my process. Um, however, you know, you don't need to have so much done. It's up to you. If you can get to a state of peace within, tranquility and groundedness, knowing that you have all that you want in within you already, and you can connect to God directly throughout this journey, then that's great. It's just, 
Before I met my twin flame, I was very, very happy. I think I was numbing a lot of my stuff too and putting a happy sticker on it. But after I met him, my, my life was uncontrollable actually. I needed the support in order to function. I could not function. So uh, in short, that was my, uh, all the things I've done so far.